Hi everybody, today is day five of our Community Helpers Week. We are going to be talking about mail carriers. Um, if you've missed the rest of the week uh, for days one through four, we did firemen, police slash detectives, construction workers, and garbage truck men. So if you would like to check out those videos, I will have them linked down below and above throughout the video. And so make sure to go check those out. If you're not already subscribed, please subs subscribe so that you can see more videos just like this in the future. And give the video a thumbs up if you like these videos. So for day five, we are doing mail carriers. Um, I, this is finally the last day. I feel like I've been doing this for three weeks now, which I pretty much have been. Um, so I'm sorry it did not come out as quickly as I was hoping it would. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, so as you can see on the top here, we have five mailboxes. I've numbered them one through five, and they are just made out of construction paper. This is just one sheet of blue construction paper that I just fold the sides over to make the mailbox, and then just a red piece of construction paper with a brad holding it up. And so I will show you the rest of the activity in the drawer. Okay, so in our mask drawer, I just pulled out this uh, three-part tray here, and I got this at Dollar Tree, in case you were wondering. And so inside of this, I just have some index cards. I used my son's um, bingo markers, or do-a-dot markers, um, to do one through five in three sets. So we have one through five in blue, green, and purple. Uh, that way he can just get extra practice. And so what they're going to do is match up, here we go, um, match up the number dot to the number word. He'll put it in his envelope, or they will. I have a three-year-old and a five-year-old. If the three-year-old is going to play, the five-year-old is going to want to as well. Okay, so... Um, they will just match that, put it inside the envelope, and then I have some number stickers here that they will use for the stamp. And so we have the, um, the dots, the word, and now the numeral to match up. Once they've done all that, or they can do it you know, as they're going, then they will put it in the corresponding mailbox where it belongs. So I just thought this would be a lot of fun. Okay, so in our language drawer, we have kind of the same thing, but for the alphabet. So I made one index card for, oh my God, I can't pick them up, for each letter of the alphabet. And so there's lower, uh, uppercase and lowercase on each one. And then I pulled out the stickers that came from the Target dollar spot a little while ago. And so they will use these as their stamps. And so they will just match whichever one um, corresponds and put it right there. And I just thought that would be a fun um, alphabet matching activity. In our art drawer, I have a few large envelopes. We have one for each person in our family. And so what we're going to do is um, first decorate them and then, uh, or we will decorate them. I don't know if I'm gonna have the boys decorate them or if we'll all decorate our own. Um, but I just pulled out this box of all of our little short markers and crayons and things. Um, and so we will decorate them and then we will uh, hang them on the wall somewhere. I don't know if we'll tape them or staple them, but we'll have them on the wall like this taped up and then we can just keep putting um, some mail to each other and send each other little love notes and things. All right, in our fine motor dr drawer, we have, um, it's not really a fine motor activity because I couldn't find anything, <laughs> but it is a um, writing activity. And so I did this at Valentine's Day and discovered that dry erase markers do not work on the lamination that I did. So um, if you have not seen the Valentine's Day activities, all I did was have a worksheet that was writing the alphabet. I cut them out and just made little envelopes for them and then I laminated them. And I also have sight words. Where are they? Sight words for my five-year-old, wherever they're at. The dry erase marker did not work, so we were not able to do the activity the way I wanted to. So I did have to go and purchase some wet erase um, markers, like what you used for projectors when you were in school. 
um, which is a lot of fun, but they are super expensive. It was $8 just for a four pack. I could not believe that, but I needed them, so I had to get it. And of course now I cannot find them anywhere. I don't know what I did with them. But anyway, we will use the wet erase markers to do this activity, writing the um, alphabet and the sight words. And then after each one that they do, they will just slide it into their little mailbox here. So perfect little activity and definitely a redo from Valentine's Day, trying to um, make sure we still get this activity in. And finally, we have our memory and logic drawer, and this is basically going to be their pretend play. So we have this little mail bag that came with um, these felt envelopes. If I can get them out, here we go. Um, so we picked this up at the Target Dollar Spot uh, last season, and so this is great for pretend play, definitely fitting for today. And then to go along with that, what I did was make a um, little map of our community, let's say, and just colored it in and used some stars. I was hoping to like doodle, you know, a fire and a police badge and an envelope and things like that to kind of help them understand what these are since they can't read yet, uh, or at least my five-year-old kind of can, but either way, I'm still going to have to help with them with this but I could not doodle to save my life so I just got some stars of different colors and uh, so yeah they'll figure it out and I'll help them but I thought it would be fun to try and have them read the map pretend like they're on the map and then just make sure that they follow their checklist to make sure that everybody got their mail I just thought that that would kind of add an extra little something to their um, pretend play so I think they're really going to love this. My five-year-old loves maps. Like anything that has to do with maps, he loves it. So he's going to really enjoy that. And I forgot to mention at the beginning, but everything right there in that middle open shelf has been out all week long. And at this point, they really are tired of it all. Um, but they were just activities that had to do with community helpers in general. And they were talked about in like the first and second videos if you would like to um, check out what those were specifically. So if you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe so that you can see more videos like this, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for sticking with me through this, you know, three week long community helpers week. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.